Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate for our sales agent uh, how to set up the, the variable price barcode parser using these uh, labels here. And so we know these are variable price because you can see that the price is $6.61 is reflected right there uh, in the end of the barcode where you can see the sequence of 661 uh, embedded. And so this right here is a variable price barcode and this right here is a Station Pro and we're using a, uh, a barcode scanner that we purchased from Clover, not from Amazon, from Clover. Because if you got it from anywhere else, it won't work with these uh, price embedded barcodes. So then we have our variable price barcode parser app and it has to say that the configuration is complete and that app is ready for use. And if yours does not say that, let me go ahead and set up, uh, show you how to configure. So if yours does not say that configuration is complete, and in fact, you're getting a message in red, what you wanna do is close this app, open settings, not setups, settings, scroll down, find accessibility, okay? And in accessibility, you want to, to turn on, see how my variable price barcode parser is on? Yours has to be turned on as well. To do so, you'd click on it and just toggle the switch right there. Okay, and uh, so, and to turning it on may require to uh, enter your uh, code that you enter when you log into the device itself. All right, so that's the first thing. We want to make sure that ours says configuration is complete and that app is ready for use. Then we're going to take a look at how this item is set up in the inventory app on Clover. So. Again, I don't know if I actually have these. Um, let's take a look here. So the product code would be two followed by two zeros and three one nine, right? So we're ignoring that zero because it doesn't get scanned when you scan it. Um, so most likely I don't have this kind of a product in my uh, inventory. The way to check it is to search and just type in these numbers. Two zero zero three one nine right so no result means you have none of those items okay and again two zero zero three one nine and you can see that it's right there three one nine okay uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit add new item and we're going to call it wasabi uh, wasabi ahi poke oh that sounds really good Really good. Love this dish. All right, so we're going to go to variable instead of fixed price. And then we're just going to go straight to product code where, guess what we're entering? 200319. 200319. Um, okay, so then we got our six digits. You can go ahead and change your categories, labels if you want, taxes. Um, I'm not going to touch any of that. I, it's all set up. Now we're just going to go open the uh, register app. And I'm just simply going to scan the barcode on my phone. And this is the result that I would get. Um, I have my taxes and other things set up in the way that they're set up. But there it is. It scans. It's $6.61. Um, and you can see that it matches six dollars and sixty one cents. Now the second item is a different item. How do I know it's a different item? The six digits are different. It's two zero zero three one two, as opposed to three one nine. And sure enough, the name is different as well. Spicy Ike combo crab avocado cucumbers. Man, this place sounds great. Uh, should ask where it is. Okay. Um, so how do I set the second item up? Now, see. Any 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 support tech would stop at the first item, but we're gonna go the extra mile this time. So second item, spicy, spicy, ahi, combo, mm -hmm. crab, avocado, mm -hmm. cucumbers. Mm -hmm. 
All right, again, variable and product code 200312. 200312, right? So 200312 and hit save. Now we have this item. We're gonna open our register app. And so now I have two, and I'm going to scan one and two. And I'm going to grab both of them. You see there they are. Um, that's how you do it. I hope this helps. Thank you.